Ciao a tutti! Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel, Bentornati sul mio canale. Spero che stiate tutti benissimo. If we haven't met yet, hi! Sono Katie, vivo in Italia con mio marito Connor. Ci siamo trasferiti da Londra cinque mesi fa. Sono molto contenta di essere qui e oggi voglio parlare con voi della differenza tra un italiano e una turista. Voglio condividere qualche dritte. I'm going to share with you some tips that I've picked up after living here for holy moly almost half a year already. Time really flies! So, here are my top tips for how to visit Italy and not come off immediately as a tourist. And just to clarify, there's nothing wrong with being a tourist. In fact, a lot of places rely on tourism for their economy. So no shame about being a tourist. This is just so that you feel more comfortable. It's nice to know what you're walking into, right? Okay, let's go. Siete pronti? Ottimo. Uno. You might want to consider learning to drive a stick shift before you come to Italy because almost all of the cars are stick shift. Connor and I got a car while we're living here and it is a stick shift. You taking a video? Yeah. Listen, I can do, I know how to drive manual. So clutch. I wish we weren't so close to that car. I learned how to drive on a stick shift, on a manual, but I hadn't driven a manual in over a decade, probably. Nothing's happening. He stalled. Oh, really? He stalled again. She's doing great. Whew. Y'all, <laughs> it's hard. Just like riding a bike, now I can drive it almost like normal. Almost. Do it. Some hand gestures that are good to know. You've probably seen this one. There's an emoji of it now. This means what? What are you doing or what are you saying? Recently, I've been going to the local dog shelter here, volunteering to walk some dogs on the weekends. And I've seen the volunteers do this a lot to the dogs because when they're looking at you with their big eyes and, and the other Italian volunteers I'm with doing this to the dog, like, what do you want with your big pretty eyes pleading at me? Or this can be used in a little bit more harsh of a way, like WTF are you saying to me? Tre, pronuncia, pronunciation. So I'll just go over some of the things that you might need as soon as you hit the ground here. So if you're visiting Rome, the way you say that in Italian is Roma. If you're visiting Florence, that's Firenze or Milan, Milano. I am sure, by the way, that you Italians watching, I mean, be kind, be kind, because I am trying my best. I'm sure I'm not saying it 110% correctly, but I'm just trying to help out the tourists out there so they don't completely slaughter these words. Some food words you may run into, especially if you're in Sicily and you see some pistachio gelato that looks really good. It looks like it would be pronounced pistachio, but it is pronounced pistacchio. There's also, you know, one of my absolute favorites. I did a whole video about this, focaccia. One of my favorite cheeses is ricotta. Literally translates to cooked again, and that's the way in which this cheese is made. You've got your bread, you're slicing it into thin slices to make bruschetta. And since I just talked about a cheese and bread, it's only right that I tell you the word for wine, which you might already know is vino. And this brings up my book, about to hit shelves, everyone. It's called Cheese, Wine, and Bread, Discovering the Magic of Fermentation in England, Italy, and France. I'm so excited to get it in everyone's hands. You can order it in the description box below. Those of you who have already pre-ordered the book, thank you so much. And you know that you get my free pizza ebook, Sourdough Pizza Night, when you pre-order, right? So all you have to do is go to the link that I'm putting in the description box, enter that you pre-ordered the book and you will get my sourdough pizza guide. Dritta numero quattro. Don't order your cappuccino dopo di mezzogiorno. Don't order it after noon. I've talked about this in previous videos because it really is a thing here. It has to do with like thinking that milk is meant for breakfast for the mornings. I really honestly am of the opinion, do what you want. <laughs> so like, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what might get you some odd looks here in Italy. <laughs> and speaking of coffee, 
Cinque. And the culture here is, it, it is a pretty quick interaction. You go, typically you will stand. And by the way, if you stand at the bar, you will pay less than if you sit down, have a quattro chiacchiere with a friend. So you'll order, you'll stand at the bar. With your coffee beverage, they will also give you a little cup of water. Generally speaking, you should drink the water first. The thought is that that like rinses the palate, primes it for the coffee beverage, which is such a thing of pride here. Also, I did a video about if you want to make coffee at home, if you want to make your own Italian cafe using a mocha, say there is no such thing as an early dinner. Back in the States, well, typically we would eat dinner at like 6 p.m. Most restaurants don't even open until like 7.30 and then they're open until about maybe 11. 9 o'clock p.m. is going to be prime reservation time. Lunch is a little more what you might expect. It's from like noon to 2.30. And while we're talking about restaurants, if they're open for lunch and dinner, they will most likely be closing in the big chunk of the afternoon between like 2.30 and 7. So just bear that in mind when you're starting to get hungry, bring snacks. Sette. Keep in mind this concept of la bella figura. That is invece di la brutta figura. When you embody bella figura, you care about yourself, basically. And it's not just visual, but appearance is a part of it. Something that stems from a place of self-respect and just decency. And I really like that thought. In fact, it's something that I am trying to incorporate more into my own life, like to not necessarily wear my soccer mom tennis shoes when I'm out and about. In fact, on Instagram, you all really helped me choose some very cute new kicks. And I'm actually working on, I'm calling it my makeover for my book. I'm getting outfits that are inspired by certain recipe photos from my book. Otto. Don't say ciao to everyone. Ciao means hi or bye. Especially in America, and certainly in the small town where I'm from, you kind of say hi to everyone, right? Like you're just walking down the street and you pass someone and you say hi. That doesn't really happen in Italy. I live in a smallish city, about 50,000 people, and you, you don't really say hi to complete strangers that you're just passing. Also, another way to take this advice to not say ciao all the time is that there are different words. So if you walk into a store, you might hear the employee, the person working there say salve. That's a little bit more formal way of saying ciao. It's like saying hello. You can also say buongiorno or buonasera. So yes, you can say ciao and you should at times, but there are other words to use and also remember to not just greet every single human you come across. That was actually hard for me. I have to say, no babe. Let's say you're in Italy traveling around and you get a train ticket, a biglietto, and what you need, to, let me go get, I have a biglietto. What you want to do is punch it. You'll see on the platforms, there's a little machine and you just stick it in and boop, boop. What you can also do is download the Trenitalia app and just get your ticket that way. And then there's a QR code that can be scanned on the train if you're being checked for tickets, which is not all of the time, but enough of the time. Dieci! Public bathrooms typically are not free, so it helps to have some change on hand. I don't even know why I made this a tip, but good to know sometimes, right? Yeah. Undici. The food is so much more than pizza and pasta, you guys, so much more. And in fact, it's really, really regional. Every region has different foods, different dishes, but also different kinds of produce that they're really known for. For instance, one of my absolute favorite pastries is called pasticciotto, and it is from this region that I'm in, Puglia, and even more specifically, it's from the area just south of where I am. But guess what? You can't find pasticciotto in other places in Italy, or if you do, it's very, very, very rare. And probably that bakery owner, that pasticceria owner is from Salento. On the food front, there is really so much to explore, so much more than you may have heard about. So come with a big appetite and an open mind. Dodici. 
Let's say you're in a crowded subway, a crowded metro in Rome or something, and you're trying to get out, but there are people in your way. What you should say is permesso. Often a lot of tourists say scusi, scusi, scusa. That, that, that will work, but typically that's like to get someone's attention. What you're really asking is, yo, can you please step out of my way? I'm trying to get past you. And so permesso is, uh, is what you should say. Going back to scusi or scusa, a quick differentiation of these two things. Scusa is what you would use in an informal setting. So a friend, someone your age or younger, you could say scusa or scusa mi. In a more formal setting, you would use scusi or mi scusi. Tredici. 13 is not an unlucky number here. In fact, there's an Italian expression, fare tredici, which literally means do 13, make 13. It translates to hitting the jackpot. So actually the complete opposite of what 13 is to us. Here in Italy, 17 is an unlucky number. Those are my tips for you to not act and feel like a tourist when you come to this amazing country. Also, I've got one last little tip for you and that is to check out my Patreon, The Quirky Club. Check it out, see if you're interested in joining. We have a lot of fun. I drop monthly recipes there. We have monthly live chats during pizza night. Delicious. It's a good time. I'm leaving a link in the description box below. Please subscribe to this channel if you like my stuff. Give this video a big thumbs up. Grazie per aver guardato questo video. E noi ci vediamo nella prossima. Ciao, ciao, ciao.